hey guys welcome to evidential tech in this video i'm going to give you a detailed overview of the chrome operating system everything you need to know about it in 2017 let's get right to it hey guys this is my review of the chrome operating system so let's start with the start menu when you click this button right here which is it says launcher it takes you to this screen and you can either type you can type in whatever you want here to search either your apps or to search online so let's say for example i type in files it files is an application on my laptop and it's going to pull it up or if i type in something like paper it should take me to google search to search for paper so that's the first thing And if when you click the launcher and click this arrow, it takes you to all the apps in your laptop and you can scroll back and forth to go through the apps and it comes with all Google apps, Google Web Store, Play Store, Chrome, anything Google, that's what is in a Chromebook and you don't have any Microsoft apps and you can click anywhere to go out of it. And whenever you start your Chromebook, Chrome Web Chrome Chrome opens up automatically. And if you go over here to the right, so let's go back to the launcher. You can right-click any app and you can pin to shelf, which is this. Remove it from Chrome to uninstall open as a window or have more options and when you click on any app on the shelf you can move it from the shelf hide it from the shelf and you can also change your shelf position or you can open it if we go over to the right you see it has your picture and everything down here when you click on it you get accessibility option Wi-Fi Bluetooth and notifications and here is your notifications so from here if you press this that's a shutdown power off button to shut down immediately it's not even going to ask you if you want to put it to sleep or anything if you click the lock button it will lock it and put it to sleep and this is if you need help and this is your settings and here it has your body percentage and it has your date and time when you click on the settings you get into settings um, for your laptop and you can scroll down to see all the settings available on your Chromebook so for Google Play Store you have the option of turning it on or off so if I click on turn on to turn on google play services so i'll be able to download google play apps why that is happening i'll show you guys other things and when you click on advanced you can see all other options Power watch is to reset your device to new and reset is to remove is to take all your settings back to the original format. And when you click this but menu button, you see everything. So this is just like Android 7.0. You see all your options on the left side. And if you have something you want to check something, you can type it in the settings menu. You can type it in, in the search bar. So let's say you want to check your storage. You can just type in storage. And this will come up and you can click on storage and management and you can see how much storage you have on your device. That's everything there is in the settings menu. Actually, one more thing is you can use your phone to unlock your device. 
so if you go to privacy and security I believe device unlock if you got yes it's under screen unlock and now type in my password here You can choose to use password or pin and password or you can use to use smart unlock which is basically when you turn this on and you can set it up so you can use your phone to unlock your device find your phone use this phone and you send your text message So um, for it to work, it has to restart your device and I don't know how to restart right now. But with this, you, you, you'll be able to use your phone to unlock your device. So uh, my Play Store is ready and it's booting up right now. When um, Right here on the Chrome browser. You can get extensions to make this laptop more useful. A Chrome OS is just like um, Android tablet with a keyboard attached, but it works like as a desktop. So you see all your regular options. And if you click on settings, it takes you to the settings menu that we just came out of. And if you go to more tools, extensions you see all the extensions available to you and they'll be added on the top right corner if you click on get more extensions it will take you to the chrome web store you can also go to menu and click on the web store to open the web store app so when you get here, you can type in anything. You can find pretty much anything you're looking for. So this will make, definitely make your Chrome laptop more useful. You can choose between themes, apps, games, and you can choose by if it runs offline by Google, if it's free, if it's available for Android. You can also um, change it by ra um, the ratings. You can choose with a Chrome app or a web store. You can choose different themes for your laptop. And that's basically everything in the Chrome web store. If you go back to this, click accept. Apps and games, movies and TV. Now the thing is not every single app in an Android phone is available in the Chrome in a Chromebook. For example, Microsoft Word and Microsoft products are not available. So let me type in something like Microsoft Word. See it doesn't come up only Google Docs because I wanted to use Google products. Microsoft OneDrive is available, Microsoft Apps are available, but Microsoft Word, Microsoft, something like um, Microsoft OneNote. These are not available, and the reason why it's not available is because those apps are not compatible with your laptop. So any app that's not compat compatible with your laptop is not going to show up in the Chrome in the Google Play Store. But if you type in something like 
8 purple which is again it's available and it's compatible with your device and you can click install and this will install it on your device so and that's basically it nothing too fancy about it is most likely Android phone like Android operating system your keyboard attached and with a few extra things and it works like a laptop so if you go to a website it doesn't show up as a mobile device it shows up as a desktop and down here is where you see all your notifications and you can control your notifications you can choose which apps you want to be able to notify you or not and once you are on your website when you click this you see all Chrome all Google products and so this is an easy way to get to your Google products and that's basically it for your Chrome operation system if you like this video please give it a big thumbs up subscribe and I'll see you on the next video bye